Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Journey to Legendary, but also Road to Nax Ramus. You guys know what's going on in Nax Ramus. The latest wing is still I think it's the military quarter. I think it was that we beat last episode. Yeah, the military quarter that we beat last episode. I'm recording this on Monday. So Wednesday, um, in two days, we will be able to buy the Construct Quarter, in which we will be getting a lot of cards. Um, Undertaker, Mad Scientist, Zombie Chow, Wailing Soul, and Fugue, and um, Frostworm Lair. We'll be getting a little bit fewer, but these cards are sweet. So, we will be doing those, but in this episode, we got three class challenges to do. Um, and two of them very, very, very important. This mage one isn't too important. We've already tried it once. So, we will move on to the shaman. Uh, we're playing Gothic the Harvester. And I believe he is the one that, for two mana, he draws a card. Which is no big deal. I'm just really wanting this uh, reincarnate card for the shaman deck. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, but we will check this out right now. It's going a little bit slow. Gothic the Harvester. Second time we've played him. Interesting. We got an Arubian Egg plus Rock Biter Weapon. I kind of like that. And we got Sylvanas. Kind of out of the random. Uh, we will re-roll the, the Sylvanas and get a Flame Tongue Totem. That's not too good. At least right now it's not. Um, we won't have anything to do. Hex is nice to have, but again, it's nothing to play. Uh, he's gonna coin out Untra Unrelenting Trainee. Oh yeah, this is the guy that does this. Oh man. Well, Ruby and Egg. Unstable Ghoul. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Rock Biter Weapon's gonna be pretty good here. Because we can just do that and kill him. And we'll also get a 4-4 four, four out of it because of the one damage to everything. And then we will just uh, totem up. And we get the 1-1. One, one. Well, that's not preferable, but... So we're gonna have the, uh, the trainee here. <laughs> and... Huh. Well... We could Shattered Sun Cleric this guy. I think we just go for his face. Honestly. Um, yeah, let's just Shattered Sun Cleric this guy. He'll die eventually. Just as long as he has one attack. Um, another Unrelenting Warrior. I'm not wanting these guys. Come on, a gothic! Stop getting, stop throwing. These guys are like overpowered. You know what would be good in this, uh, in Nax Ramus, like as an entirety, the um, oh, what am I trying? Oh, Earth Elemental. I like in that. And actually, this reminds me. I totally forgot to do the comments from last video. Um, I will pull those up right now. But like I was trying to say. It's kind of exactly how um, SRH said it in the comments last video. That's why it reminded me. Uh, we just took a ton of damage, and this is not looking good here. This right here. <laughs> this is not looking good. Um, I think we're just going to hex it. Because I don't want these guys dying. And that is a ton of damage put out this early on. We've almost got it. Spectral Knight. And that's lethal. Sweet. We won. Kind of. Well, we did, but <laughs> taking a lot of damage from these guys. Um, anyways. 
I am almost there to the comments. I'm just pulling it up on my phone. I did. I am recording this fairly, um, fairly soon after posting, about two hours. But SRH 9893, uh, he left a comment about how far he was, and apparently you guys are having a little bit of trouble getting uh, gold for this. But and it is tough. It is tough. We're not going to have enough gold to. Um, to do the last wing, unless I, well, I'll do quests every day, hopefully, um, to get that extra gold, but also SRH, um, he commented about a weird priest deck, about, like, taking over these minions, and so our hero is immune, and that would be interesting. <laughs> Uh, I don't have those type of cards, but this is this is interesting. I like Unstable Ghoul, Drain Life, and Void Call Out. We'll, we'll re-roll those. Um, Imp Master and Sense Demons. Okay. Well, Baron Rivendare, we all know he's a he's a fight. Vader, turn away while you still can. And I'm not gonna put out Voidwalker, I don't think, because he'll just die to these guys. Uh, so there's the Paladin Secret. Um, I think Unstable Ghoul... Ghoul? Ghoul? Me speak. Good. Unstable Ghoul is the obvious play. And that is probably Avenge. That would be my guess. A Soul Fire. Interesting. Uh, he got rid of the coin. Okay. I think we sense demons. Actually, no. Let's, let's Imp Master. I like Imp Master here. Um, these Void Callers, the new Warlock card, these are interesting. Um, a Soul Fire again. Let's see what it. Uh, Mark of the Horseman. That's a great card for him to discard. Uh, Ruin Blade is good for him. And he'll just put damage to my face. I think a Void Caller is now good. It'll be tough for him to kill. Wow, we've got three of them. So as soon as this Void Caller guys dies, he'll probably just send out another Void Caller. We'll see. Uh, no, the Void Walker. Okay. And he's gonna silence it. Interesting. And then go for my face. Wow, that's like. Oh no, he'll kill it. So the silence was useless. I still got that oh, Lord Jaraxxus. Destroy your hero and place it with Lord Jaraxxus. Oh man, that's fun. Void caller again. Oh shoot! Please don't bring out. Please bring out void caller. Please bring out this void caller. Oh, n okay, good. Whew. I don't want Lord Jaraxxus to be brought out by a void caller. I want to play Lord Jaraxxus. <laughs> this isn't good. Okay, we're Sense Demon. We're doing Sense Demons, Dread Infernal, and a Void Walker. Okay, we will do that. And I'm not going to send out Void Walker. Just because once this guy dies, I want a good chance of him bringing out any of these three. I don't want to bring out Lord Jaraxxus. I want to actually play Lord Jaraxxus. Um. Hmm, let's demon fire. And this it's probably gonna be an avenge. Maybe a redemption. Redemption? Okay, that's good. For me. It's good for me. Demon fire. I'm just gonna double check that's not a demon. Okay. So we'll kill that. And then we'll send out the void walk the void walker. And in two turns, we can play Draxus and win, basically. Um, or he will just get played right now. <laughs> oh well, he's he's still good. I mean, there's no reason not to have Draxus out there, I guess. Um, let's Dread Infernal. Yeah. And then we will soul. F oh, repentance. Oh, dang. Okay. Well, we're gonna soul fire now. 
And draw two card or draw a card. Okay, he's down to four. He has to kill me this turn. Drain life. Okay, so he will survive. And a corruption. Oh, snap. I gotta kill him quick. Or else I'm gonna lose. Dread Infernal. Well, let's sense demons. Illidan Storm Rage. Oh, Doom Guard, what a pull. Illidan Storm Rage, I totally forgot he was a demon. Wow, there was a ton of demons in this deck. But that was lucky. That win was very lucky. Um, it was very close. We're now level 13, and we get the Void Callers, which don't actually make my zoo deck, obviously, because it's not demon focused. But we're going to do a second try of the Mage class challenge. Hopefully, we can get it. If so, then we get a great card, Duplicate. Um, but I do find this challenge pretty hard. This Mage deck isn't too good. Uh, Undertakers are okay, but there's nothing with um, Death Rattle that was being played. I'll keep Secret Keeper though, because I know I'm going to draw a secret. Um, okay, I like this. This is good. So I'll obviously start with Secret Keeper, and next turn I'll play Mad Scientist. Um, oh, Eruption. I totally forgot about that. Well, that sucks. In that case, I'll play Loot Hoarder. Um, I'd rather keep Mad Scientist in hand. And let's see what we draw. A Ruby and Egg. And a Mirror Entity. Okay. Well, I think just pinging this is the best idea. Yep. That way his, his hero power is useless here. Uh, Demon Fire. Well, that's not very good for me. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Um, that's pretty good, though. Let's do that and Mirror Entity. Hmm. Soul Fire. Okay. Well, this is gonna look like another loss. Jeez. This is gonna be a. F oh, that's horrible. Really? Oh my. That was the worst Mirror Entity I've ever seen. This game is destroying me. <laughs> well. Oh gosh, this is not good. Baseless Manipulator. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, well Sludge Belcher will make it a little bit better. And let's see what secret we get. Um, we get a Spellbender. Okay. That's good. Um... Hopefully he, uh, he hero powers. Okay, he does. Sweet. If only we had duplicate out there instead of the spellbender. Well, I'll be able to... Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'll play Karen. And I think we'll be able to survive. I gotta remember that, um... Um, what am I thinking? I totally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, the question is, if I play Duplicate and I run Cairn into the Voidwalker, do I get Cairn back? I'm not sure I do. Well, worth a try. Dang it. That was absolutely a horrible play. Shoot. That was not good. That was not good at all. Mindpocalypse. That's actually good for me. 
That's very good for me. Another mind apocalypse. Wow. Okay. A lot of cards. Void caller. It's just gonna go for my face again. Hopefully that is um, ice block. What did I get? Ice block. Sweet. So I will for sure survive one more turn. For sure. Ethereal. Arcanist is pretty dang good here too. Vaporize is also very, very good. Hold up, this could get pretty good. If I could play three secrets, can I? Vaporize, duplicate, no. Hmm. Well, so I can't, mm, this, has, this has to die, so I have to do that. Yeah, and then let's Ethereal Arcanist, Kieran Tor Mage, and Vaporize. And then we will Mad Scientist. And yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Well, hopefully he attacks with Void Caller first. Nice. Okay, so he's dead. Let's see what he sends out, though. A Doom Guard. Okay, well, that sucks, but Ice Block will allow me to survive one more turn. Bane of Doom. Oh, that's good. That's a really good spellbender. This is very, very difficult. Um, another Bane of Doom. And of course he gets the amazing cards. Jeez. Holy cow. I think that is the end. I don't think I can kill everything. What is up with this challenge, man? I mean, I can play Sylvanas, but what will it do? I have no time for games. And I can kill this. I guess maybe I can try for the Ice Block? Come on, Ice Block. Counterspell. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Ah, <sighs> maybe third time's the charm. Let's try it. Maybe I'm playing this deck wrong. I don't know. If I lose the next one, then post in the comments what am I what are the misplays that I'm doing? Because <laughs> obviously this isn't really working out so far. Um Hopefully we can get this mage card though. <laughs> Egg in the unclean is so annoying. I did make some misplays though with his um hero power. Okay, these this is horrible. No thank you. I want secrets and yeah, mad sign Nerubian egg, yes. Sludge Belcher, that's good for later. Um obviously no play here. Uh, he's gonna coin out some oh no, Death Charger, okay. Well I'm gonna place Nerubian egg. No doubt. Because if he does hero power, then I get a four four. In which that'll give me a upper hand early on. And he, of course he doesn't. Mad Scientist is the obvious play. Mad Scientist is pretty good, but I don't know. Void Caller, that's frustrating. Well, he's sending in some early damage. This is actually a decent Undertaker with a uh, Loot Hoarder out here. Well, I'm going to do this. Um, Demon Fire. Wow. Soul Fire, the Undertaker? Okay, there goes a Void Caller. Okay, he doesn't have any more good... Or he's, like, out of cards. And I've got a 4-4. Wow, thank you. 
Thank goodness you did that. I think Sludge Belcher here. Um, but let's um, let's draw a card first. Or should I ping it and use both of these to kill like the Void Caller? Oh no, I would use them to kill the Flame Imp. Yeah, I like that. I like that better. And then I'll cast Ice Barrier. And let's see. Let's actually see what secret we get. Duplicate. Okay. Not bad. And an ice block. Oh, that's nice to have. And... Nice. He doesn't have a demon in his hand. Uh, there's the another Void Caller. And the Eruption will kill the Nerubian. We do get two more Nerubians. Which is actually pretty nice. Because I think they... Okay, they cost three. So that's not too bad. And we get the Ice Barrier. Well, Sylvanas maybe? I have 15 health, so I can survive. Sylvanas is interesting. I think we do it. I have no time for games. If we can steal... Oh, wait. I don't want to steal that Death Charger. Oh. Oh, I thought he... Why didn't he just steal the Sylvanas? Or why didn't he faceless the Sylvanas? That wasn't a very good play by him. Um, wow, Blood Mage Thalmos, okay. Well, let's Undertaker. Bring out your dead. And then Sludge Belcher. And then let's do that, because I don't want to steal that. And there we go. Eruption. No problem. Okay, Death Charger. Will he kill the Sylvanas? No, he'll kill the... Oh no, he didn't even kill the Undertaker. Well, this is close. This is going to be a close, close game. Well, let's Kirin Tor Mage and Ice Block. I think that's good. And then let's Nerubian and Blood Mage. Or, I think I want to ping that. Yeah, I want to ping that. Um, but I also want a Blood Mage. So, the Undertaker can kill him. However, let's... Let's do that. Let's see which one we get. Hopefully the Void Collar. Nope. Oh well, that's fine. And it's looking like I think we have this. I think we have this game. That's no problem at all. Sludge Belch is good. I think we ping this and then kill it. Send that to the face and let's Sludge Belcher. Or I could send out two Nerubians. Yeah, let's get a little bit more aggressive. We're gonna have to have to put out some damage now. Void Collar and then heal Eruption. No problem. Might as well kill it now before he actually gets a demon in his hand. And let's Sludge Belcher, Loot Hoarder, and Counterspell. Oh, I can't Fire Blast now. And it's finally looking like we're going to win one. Wow. Finally. Bane of Doom. And that's going to be Counterspelled. Nice. And that's the win. Finally. Third time's the charm. But it finally worked. Finally worked out. I guess I did just need to do it a few times. Yes, you should have. Well, that's all the class challenges up till this point. Um, we got the duplicate. So let's do some deck editing and then I'll end the episode there. Um, first of all, I did some... Obviously, I've been doing some off-camera quests. And I actually changed the um, the uh, warrior deck a little bit. Oh, and we also got ancestral healing earlier. Forgot to mention that. Um, 
I did change the warrior deck a little bit, and I will show you guys those changes as soon as we um, scroll over all of our new guys. Oh yeah, there's Death Lord and Baron Rivendare, I believe. Yep. All right, so execution. Let me know if you agree with these changes or if you don't agree. But I've decided to take out both. Sl Basically, what I was thinking is this: this curve is way too bad. I have way too many five-minute cards and not enough three and fours. So I've taken out both Sludge Belchers and one Stormwind Champion. I figured I didn't really need two. Um, and in place of the two Sludge Belchers, I decided to put one Razor Fin Hunter, again, just to help the curve, and also one Sengen Shield Master to help the void of taunts. Because um, pretty much all I have now is Defender of Argus and Sengen Shield Master, which isn't... Uh, which isn't too bad. I don't think I need... I don't necessarily need more. I think having two sludges is way too much. Uh, so we did those two, and then instead of the Stormwind, put in my Exna. Except, I needed your guys' help on this one. Should I have a my Exna or a second Boulderfist Ogre? They're very, very similar, except my Exna is a good trader. But Boulderfist Ogre does a lot more damage to their hero, which is kind of, which is the drawback of my ex now. He, she, he, she, I don't know. Can't really do much damage to the hero. Um, personally, I decided to put in my ex now instead of Boulderfist Ogre just because it's a new card. But I'm not sure which card is better, so that's what I need your guys' your guys's help with. Uh, but... Those are the existing changes. Spell Power Mage. Does duplicate fit in this deck? I don't think it does. Um, I'm probably gonna have to like delete this deck and make a new whole new mage deck, because I don't think that's gonna be very strong in the current um, ladder. But the Doomhammer deck we did get reincarnate. Do we have much of um, Death Rattle? We've got Haunted Creepers. Nerubian Eggs, um, and that is it. Well, I don't think I'll put it in at the moment, but I think a Death Rattle Shaman deck could be very, very good. Especially with cards like um, Baron Rivendare and stuff, stuff like that. Um, it could be very, very hazardous for my opponents. Uh, but there's that, and then the Zulok also will not get Void Collar. So, with that, we did pick up a lot of new cards, but unfortunately none of them will be used. Um, but I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I, I love it when you guys comment and like, and of course subscribe. Everyone, Every YouTuber likes that. But again, I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.